and welcome back to our let's play of uh, Darkest Hour as Austria-Hungary. As you know, we've been having an extremely hard time playing this game because I'm getting rebellions left and right. So, uh, of course, I've been trying to in increase my industrial capacity, but unfortunately, that's not proving to be very fruitful um, currently. <clears throat> so, you guys could move forward now. Now we have to try to take out uh, Montenegro, that will give us a bit more of an edge now. Uh, and uh, basically, uh, the Serbians are losing, so we, we, we've got a good a good chance now. Uh, so once we get rid of these guys down here, we could like move our forces down to the Italian front and to the German front, because the Germans are kind of holding them off, but barely. Uh, the Russians, they're kind of a bit on and off type of thing. So I'm not too sure what's going on with them. So we will have to see. So you guys, we, you're, you guys just support the attack. Go. Uh, you guys are going to have to attack. Go. Any of you guys, any of you guys, you guys could attack. And you guys could support the attack from down here good so we've got a lot of weakened regiments against them so uh, yeah we got a victory against the Russians so we're wasting a bit of money not money but resources on certain things we don't exactly need right now uh, of course supplies we will always need uh, oh, if we keep over producing supplies what's good about it is that we're gonna uh, have a good supply base so luckily the the Italians have stopped advancing, which is pretty good. They're holding uh, Cabotericia, which is really good too. Uh, we just have one rebellion that's being extremely annoying. But beside that, uh, everything is going pretty well. So let's keep, uh, let's accelerate time just a bit faster and just keep an eye on the world. Uh, let's see how the Ottomans are doing. They're under attack, but they seem to be holding. So, uh, I don't know what's going to happen to them, but they seem to be holding, which is a good thing. Uh, Gallipoli, that's where the, a lot of British troops tried to land, but it failed epically. So, we'll see. Enemy in sight. Yeah, where's my... Uh, yeah, you guys are like slowly moving up. But we don't have the transport capacity to keep uh, to keep moving that many troops. I'm trying to decrease the descent with uh, our consumer goods. That's very important to us. If I get my fleet out, it's going to get annihilated by the British fleet. That's guaranteed. New development technology, 1914 Cavalry Division. Alright, so what project can we put in for you? We could put 1914. We put logistics, which is extremely important. What does logistics need? It's two stars and a skill seven, which is pretty good. You start the project army logistics. Uh, as you can see, we lost one of our research stations. Uh, where was it? It was over here. I don't remember where it was, but we lost one of them. So if we regain it, then we'll be able to continue our tech runs. Uh, it's turning out to be a nightmare. Luckily, wait a minute. Did we, uh, damn, we almost did. We almost did cut the Russians off, which would have been huge. But uh, now we're just like trying to fight off more rebels than anything. Alright, so you have a lot of troops, and you're ready to launch an all-out assault on this position. You're not exactly winning, but if we get supporting flanks, then uh, we might be... Uh, yeah, we got a victory in Belgrade, so you guys could support this attack now. And that would help enormously. Alright, cool. So yeah, the Serbians are losing. Which is a good thing. Because now we can redirect forces to. Oh, damn. Yeah, we're kind of losing against France here. So France and Belgium and all those guys are going to have to 
do something fast enough. We always get hit in the, in the industrial centers. I never understood that principle. Yeah, Tundra is going to get overrun. Damn it. Hurry up. Come on. Get rid of these guys as much as you can. Technology. Belgrade, Belgrade, you fucking Belgrade. Yeah, German forces have been helping me a lot down here. But they should be concentrating more on France than the Russians. Yeah, there are some Bulgarian troops there. But honestly, they're not very helpful. They have not been very helpful. I'm going to have to, like, help out down here. Because it's not looking too good. Could strategically re redeploy over here, that would be great. In time. So let's see how's the attack going. We're kind of winning, but it's still questionable. The German troops are moving a lot faster than I am, which uh, the Austro -Hung Hungarian troops. Uh, Alright, so I know we're going to need to take uh, back some of our land. So, yeah, we're going to have to strategically redeploy. We're going to have to fight off the Russians, that's for sure. And there's still a fear that the Italians might be pushing deeper into our core, so that's no good either. So, if you guys attack these guys, defeat, yeah, well, you're totally exhausted from moving around, like, not even 12 feet. Damn it, this battle is not going our way. Alright, so any of you guys have enough organization to like support the attack here? Because uh, it's not going too well. Can you support? Are you can only attack. It means you're going to have to move around, so might as well bring you to the Russian front or to the French front, to the Italian front. Tundra, Patissan. Uh, fuck it. Alright, I don't know if the Bulgarians are going to do anything actually. But enemy in sight, Italy. Yeah. Alright, so I'm going to relocate towards the Italians. Strategically redeploy. Uh, you're not defending anything, honestly, so. Let's try to strategically redeploy them here. You guys go over here. Let's take that territory back. And we're losing against the Montenegro guys again. Like, honestly, how much manpower. Hmm, they still got quite a strong force, honestly. So, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, we don't have the flanks to keep it up. Montenegro. Kharkov has been lost. Damn it. We're gonna get a huge descent hit because of that. So we're fighting on one front, two fronts. We're fighting on one, two, three, four. Four fronts. Yeah. Well, let's try to get the our troops back reinforced. Let's try to get our troops really upgraded first. And then we'll see what happens after that. Alright, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Luckily, there's still money coming in. There's still battles being fought. Where's my Austro German? Alliance. Yeah, the Germans are doing a lot of dirty work for me. They might lose. They're going to lose here. That's guaranteed. But hopefully they might be able to hold off. Until uh, I can get my forces back together. They're going to take a while to reinforce though. There you go. And the production of this factory is just taking forever. Attack them. 
going to give you some sort of reason to do something. Uh, damn, we're losing more territories to rebels now. Hopefully our descent is not going to go through the fucking roof. The Russians have actually been... are in a weird position. We could try to make a push here and cut them off if we can. If we can cut them off, then that will give us a huge advantage. At least we could destroy some armies. Alright, so these guys are reinforcing slowly. We're losing some ICs. You know, we don't need as much upgrades. We don't need as much reinforcement. There you go. Alright. We could mount an attack on the Russians, but hmm. Yeah, we haven't been producing any troops. So you have a new trait. This trait is going to be Mountaineer, which is a very common trait that you get for fighting in mountains. There's a lot of commander at the winning battle, at the losing battle. More wariness. Bill of Lobby currently forward. Damn it. Alright, so. Yeah, a lot of these armies are very weak. In fact, I think I'm just going to let the Bulgarians take this the rest of this shit. So, sue for peace, insist on demand, gonna demand everything, current value 17%, Bulgaria, Serbia, enemy in sight, yeah they took that, but that doesn't really matter right now, does it, you pull back from the attack here, don't worry, let them take some territories, it's not gonna, oh shit, they're gonna take this one, it has three industrial capacity, fuck. Alright, they're retreating from here, which is a good thing. New technology developed, but is it early mechanization? The industrial era? 1922, which should be, what is census, research modifier plus 3%, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, construction, production, bonus. Alright, so yeah, you're the only guy that can do stuff, so do it. We get the blueprint for it, so it's going to research pretty quickly, hopefully. Uh, Alright, so they have their capital here. We could barge in if we wanted to, but their forces here, there's some forces moving around, so they might be retreating, which might give us the opportunity to charge in again. A uh, new revolt. You can support the attack here. And you guys too can support the attack. It's just going to give you some training. Hopefully going to overrun the rebels. Yeah, they cancelled some agreement. Alright, so yeah, they've taken over one of the docks of Germany, which is not a good thing. But the front is kind of stiffening here. So once those guys are pushed back, we can hold our front. It's 1915, and I think I'm going to be the worst World War I leader ever. I don't know if that is even possible, but... We'll see. Alright. Let's keep going. So our troops have been reinforcing for a while now. Italy succeeded in stealing blueprints. Damn it. Okay, all you guys, this is it. Montenegro has to fall. Attack this position. Yeah, the Serbians are actually leading a very tough resistance. But if we support the attack from all sides, all possible ways, we might get the edge. 
And also, instead of attacking from only one front, let's attack on every single front and try to overrun their positions. And there you go. Like, the goal is not to, like, push them all the way back, it's just to hold them back for a bit. Anyways, these guys could be easily advancing, but they're not. So, I don't know if you're idiots, but luckily all our countries are linked right now. So we do have a fighting chance, but the Ottomans are... are uh, trying to hold off their own uh, thing. Oh my god, they took cars from the Russians, which is very good. Alright, so yeah, they took that the heavy industrializer, which is no good whatsoever. Enemy in sight crushed. Oh my god, I'm, get I'm getting surrounded now. Attack. Victory. <laughs> Alright. So you guys need to, like, you guys took way too long. A revolt, a revolt, a revolt, a revolt. Damn it. If I can't really strategically redeploy right now, because my troops have been uh, busy. Now I'm wasting my industrial capacity because I can't really reinforce. And I can't really upgrade. And there's war going on. When when there's battles going on. So yeah. Sir, mass charge for nothing. Yeah, so that was so so one of these research facilities were was giving me mass charge. So we could attack the Italians here, we'll surely win. Well the French actually. We're spread over a very thin front. Luckily, the Australian troops over here will most likely perish. However, that these guys are really fast. You know, losing, winning, attack. Yeah, the Serbians are really putting up tough resistance still, even though that they should be out of manpower. Like over here, the Montenegro guys, this general, which has skill 4, experience 10, skills 3, experience 19. And I have a lot of troops. He has a lot of troops, and most of them are full strength somehow. They're outdated though. Descent affecting forces. Now, hopefully, the Germans will give me a hand. Alright, so here we're winning. Here we're winning pretty good. They took this from Serbs, so that's good. I could declare war on Greece after and make, uh, make the, some of these guys fight the Greeks. New leader trait. What is your new trait again? Urban warfare mountaineer hill fighter. All right, so he's one of the best commanders out there. Well, in our army at least. All right, so what can we do to stop them? We can kind of like counterattack the Russians at these lines here. We will surely no, we're not beating them one little bit. All right, cancel those fucking attacks. I can't believe the Russians are so strong all of a sudden. So just try to take like some of our territory back. Then so we're getting overrun. Alright. Uh, da, 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 da. This battle is still not going well. This battle is extremely not going well. This battle's going okay, this battle's going pretty well. Damn, Austria Hungary, why are you, why do you suck balls so much? This is what, uh, interceptor wing on our armed reconnaissance plane. I'm just gonna scrap this unit. It's like, it's not doing anything. Do you have any decisions? Offensive shit. Mobilization further. Large scale offenses. Alright, so the Australians are still causing heavy trouble. And the Russians too, but we have if we could do a pincer movement here, we could cut off a huge number of their forces, annihilating them.
Alright, so this battle is still waging on, and slowly they're pushing our forces back. Economy, let's try to move it up just a little bit to get the reinforcements we need. We got 68 now. Let's get it to 60. To try to re-equip these soldiers. Uh, we pushed all the way up here, which is pretty good. But now these guys are surrounded. Which is not helping one little bit. We're losing on the French front here. We lost many territories. We're going to have to up the ante if we want to survive. But these Serbs just don't want to collapse. You have like outdated men, 1907 out of 1914, their victory finally. Technology, still researching a bunch of shit. Alright, so what are you guys doing? Defeat in Montenegro again. Uh, 2.26 there enemy sieging the city fucking hell yeah but luckily if we could do this pincer movement we could just cut them off So let's try to get some Russians to, let's try to just defeat them and just get some experience in some of our troops. Because some of them are just not doing anything right now. Yeah, we're just losing territories here. We're not getting anywhere. I can't hold uh, such a front and try to kill the Serbs. Attack here. Fuck it. Alright, you fuck. Alright, economy, revolt, fuck, yeah. Restavia lost. Alright, fuck it, I'm calling it quits. It's over, honestly. I'm not gonna be able to hold the empire together. So, in any case, this has been Blackworth with the Let's Play of Her Darkest Hour, Her Hearts of Iron Game. See you guys in another episode. And please give me recommendations on how to make this work.